Hi, today I'm going to talk about the steps and elements that I needed to put inside the new media planning. Alright, so for this whole video, I'm going to talk about uh, give you an example of Gongcha, a Gongcha company. So, uh, when you want to do a new media plan for a company, which is for my case now, is Gongcha, you have to understand and identify the new media platform. You understand the new media platform which they use to do their promotional activities, which are used to do their campaigns. For example, Gongcha use Facebook to organize a campaign, or Gongcha use Instagram to organize a contest. So these are the new media platform which a company use. So therefore, you have to identify that is step one. All right. So that's part one just now. Step one. So now I'm going to talk about step two. The step two, you have to identify what are the new media which are used to address the internal stakeholders and the external stakeholders of the company. So let me explain the internal stakeholders of the company. Let's say the company we're talking about Gongcha. So the internal stakeholders for Gongcha is actually the people working in Gongcha. Those are uh, people selling the drinks in Gongcha. Then the external stakeholders for Wong Chai is actually the customers, the consumers, people that buy the Wong Chai drink. So you have to identify what are the new media which are used by the company to address to these two parties. Alright, so let me give you an example. Let's say Wong Chai actually use Facebook to address um, the uh, internal stakeholders by like, uh, giving them updates, by giving them the rules, by giving them guidelines in their working place. Then, in the other hand, uh, Wong Chai also use new media which are Twitter or Instagram or Facebook to address to their external stakeholders which are the customers themselves. Then you have to identify these new media and also understand what are the impacts on these both parties. Alright, so let's now go to step 3. So now we're going to talk about the step 3. Step 3 is actually to do the evaluation on the current strategies of the new media or the current new media strategy. Alright, and understand how they integrate it to the traditional business. For example, traditional business like marketing, operation, human resource, logistic. So for example, let's use a bone charging. Say in marketing is a traditional business, how do they integrate a new media into uh, traditional business which are marketing? So maybe they, they promote using uh, the Facebook and everything, they promote using social medias to uh, make people understand more about the drink. So that is how they integrate new media into a traditional business. Alright, so they have to do an evaluation on whether the strategy is it good or not, whether is it working or not, whether is it effective or not. So that is one of so that's step three. Then we go to step four. Step four which is the SWOT analysis. SWOT S stands for strength, W is weakness, O is opportunity and T is threats. Alright? So we go for strength first. Let's say the strength of Gong Cha is actually the brand name. So actually people might know about Gong Cha but they might not have tasted Gong Cha before. I'm not talking about them not tasting about Gong Cha, I'm talking about them knowing the brand, which is Gong Cha. Yeah, I know Gong Cha but I don't taste it. So that's one of, that's one of the strengths. Next is the customization. One of the things is they will be able to customize their own drink because when you go to some, some uh, beverage stores, you can't customize your own drink. So this is one of the strengths of Gong Cha, you're able to customize your own drink. And then they really they emphasize on the quality of the drink. Let's say they also say that uh, they don't use powdered milk, they use uh, fresh milk to put in their own char drinks. So it's one of the quality that they take into consideration. Then we go to W, which is the weakness, right? They don't really have so much promotion and they don't really have a customer loyalty program. So these two weaknesses are actually quite big weaknesses. So people might not know so much about Gong Cha, might not know whether they have promotion or this kind of anything. Alright? Then we go to O, which is the opportunity. opportunity. The opportunity for Gong Cha is actually they are not targeting just a certain group of people, but they target a various group of people. So they target the younger generation, they target uh, children, they target uh, adults, they, they target family. So all these things is give them more flexibility in their promotion or, or in their marketing. Then we go to lastly is threats T. Alright, T, what are the threats is actually they have fierce competitors, they have fierce competitors like uh, Cha Time and everyone knows Cha Time because of these fierce competitors out there which are selling the similar product, therefore they actually have to fight and win the customers. So step five. After step one to step four, you already did the research about the company and everything, understand more about the company, you go to step five, which is more into the new media planning. So in step five, you have to understand, you have to create two objectives, two new media objectives. For example, for Gong Cha, we create the first objective, which is to encourage participation more in the Gong Cha new media. And so the second objective is to increase the popularity of Gong Cha, since there's not much really promotion out there. All right. So after doing step five, you go to step six, which is um, prepare a new list of new media platform to, for example, why do you want face? Why do you want Gongcha Facebook to mean? Why do you want to uh, 
uh, integrate uh, tweet, Gong Chao, Twitter inside what you want to put more new features inside the Gong Chao new media app or what you want to do um, an Instagram account for Gong Chao why you want to do videos which are talking about Gong Chao on YouTube so you have, to un you have to explain and justify why you want to include all these new media why you want to exclude all these new media why you want to maintain all these new media so by understanding more into the new media which, uh, which they are using you gotta understand more so now we go to step number seven. Step number seven actually is connected directly to your objective. Alright? So you have to form uh, new media strategies which is for internal and external audience. So the internal audience which are for the people that are working in Gongcha, the external audience which are the customers. So for example, you create two external audience strategy. Right? For example, Gongcha, I say I want to increase the participation in the new media uh, of Gongcha new media, I want to increase the popularity of Gongcha. So, we created a new feature in the app which is enable them to pre-order the Gong Cha drink. So, it's like a VIP link, so they just show ID order Gong Cha drink and then they just get their Gong Cha there. Alright, and so we put a uh, Gong Cha points system. Right? So, every pre-order they did with the app, they will be rewarded with one GC point, one Gong Cha point. Alright, so when they, get, when they get three Gong Cha points, they're able to get a customized free drink. And if they are very hard working, they get 10 GC points. They'll be, they'll be able to get one limited edition uh, bottle tumbler, Gongcha bottle tumbler. This bottle tumbler actually based on the four season design, which is uh, spring, autumn, summer, and winter. Alright, so these designs are actually limited edition. If you go for a whole year round, every three months there will be one bottle design. Alright, so they have to get it. So the benefit of getting this bottle is not only is limited edition, is is not only for collection or limited edition, it's also give them 10% discount every time they use the bottle to fill with a Gongcha drink. So that was the first new media strategy for the external audience. So now I'm going to talk about the second uh, strategy which we're going to use for the external audience, which is to increase the participation and also increase the popularity of Gong Cha. Alright, so this, this strategy is uh, Gong Cha Health Contest. We're have this contest which lasts for three days. So in order to participate for this Gong Cha Health Contest, they have, to, they have to get this blank bottle, this bottle tumbler, Gong Cha bottle tumbler, this blank one, which they can trade it for 10 GC points. Alright, like this one, they can trade for the seasonal bottle. They can choose to trade for the blank bottle or the seasonal bottle. Alright, so after they trade for the blank bottle, they have to take out the paper from the blank bottle and do their own design. This design must be related to health, right? To emphasize that our uh, is a healthy drink. So they do the health design and put it inside the bottle and then close it. Alright, so then they have to post post this picture with the bottle and so then doing a, a healthy activity for example uh, there is a guy that draws an energy bar on the bottle a full energy bar on the bottle and he's jogging right? on the Gongcha bottle he's jogging and then he already is qualified to participate and then he had to hashtag GC health and so for the caption he had to put in less than 10 words why Gongcha drink is healthy alright so the winner will be determined by the number of likes they have on Instagram Alright, it will be, it will be determined on the third, after the third day itself, after the contest end, it will determine the winner by just the number of likes. <coughs> and the first winner will get the, the winner will get five days, four nights, a trip to Taiwan. Right, a vacation trip to Taiwan, which is fully paid. They will be able to get to visit interesting places in Taiwan. And also we'll be able to enter the Gong Cha factory which is in Taiwan and understand how the process goes to make Gong Cha. Alright, and then we also have additional 10 consolation prizes excluding the winner just now I said. Right? They'll be awarded 10 GC points, they'll be awarded a, a 20 ringgit voucher. Alright, so now we go to internal audience strategy. Right, so it's actually quite interesting we make them uh, participate the internal audience, which is the people that's working for Gong Chang. We help them to participate in this also. Maybe for every outlet of Gong Chang, they have to get they have to create one apron design, which is uh, and the winner of the apron design will be able to, and all the Gong Cha outlet in Malaysia will be able to use that design. So that apron design must be related to health so this is the theme of the whole year. Alright? So the next step which is step 8, we have to pro um, provide a gun chart or prepare a gun chart which shows 4 weeks per month. So this gun chart actually help to show the progress of the strategies, the progress of the things that you implemented to achieve your objective. So you get things organized, get things more prepared and when you can see the progress, it's actually a good thing. So this is the purpose of the gun chart. So we go to step 9. Step 9 is actually I have to prepare five working examples of, of why you say Facebook can use, why you say Instagram can use, why you say Twitter can use. So all these five examples, you have to prepare them and, and uh, explain them also, right? So that's step step nine. We go to step ten now. So now we go to step ten. Step ten is monitoring and evaluation. 
So the evaluation and monitoring method, we have to find out which method is the most useful and suited for the company that we're doing, or so which are the best method to measure the strategy, how how we put the strategy, is it working or not? Did we achieve the objective or not? So for example, let's say like I said the GC point is now the new feature that we implemented the app, right? Maybe for every Maybe if they fill in an evaluation form from the app, they will get one free GC point. So it's actually really good. So people will fill in the evaluation. Does this is this GC point system working for you? Is it useful for you? Do you feel like you want to uh, participate more in the usage of Wong Chan Media? So this kind of thing help you to get your whether your objective is achieved or not. Alright. Other than that, we can record the sales after and before the three days of the contest. So we'll be able to know that yes, but people more uh, there's people that uh, know more about Gongcha, so that means the popularity of Gongcha actually increases. So we have to record the sales as well. Alright? So we go to the last step, which is step eleven. So we have to prepare a new proposal, which is why is all these strategies, all these objectives, all these evaluation methods and everything, all these new platform and everything is more useful and it's better than the current strategy which I've been using now. So we have to compare and say now is the current strategy they're using and this is the new strategy we have proposed to the company. So which one is it better and why is it better? Alright? So explain why is it better, how our strategy changed from this, how does this strategy differ from this? And we're able to understand that hey actually in conclusion this new media strategy actually is new media planning which is, is actually really useful for company and is know how to find the working itself. Alright, so that's all for the day. I hope you really get some tips on um, how to create a new media plan which is very useful all right so that's me Caleb Chin signing off ciao actually my hand is okay bye